Hello everyone, it is Mr Breen speaking, Deputy Ed Teacher at St Monica's. I hope you are all well. I thought it would be useful to do a brief update on everything related to Year 11 at the moment, so that we're all clear on the information at this stage. So items I would like to go through during this briefing are what we know at the moment, because there's been some updated information released last week by the DfE and Ofqual, uh, the Year 11 report which you will be receiving this week, information around Year 11 parents evening, the pre-public examinations that the pupils will be preparing for to take place in November, and the period four timetable which is in place. So in terms of what we know at the moment, the DfE and Ofqua released information last week confirming that formal exams will be taking place next summer. So we need to be clear, exams will take place next summer, May, June time, 2022. A full timetable is usually released around this time. As soon as we get information on that, that will be shared. It also gave some information about the grade awarding process. They've said that the grades will be awarded at a midpoint between the 2019 results, which was the last time there was a full set of examinations uh, that pupils went through, and the 2021 results, which we know were awarded via a process of teacher assessed grades. So we know there will be some allowance there in terms of the grade awarding, and it will be in the middle of those two sets of results. In terms of the content and the topics, they have confirmed what was uh, suspected and what they put out in a consultation, that there will be optional topics or content in English literature, in geography and in history. They've also confirmed that the arts GCSE will be assessed by portfolio only. They've confirmed there will be some support materials available in mathematics, so formula sheets will be available for the pupils to use. And they've also said that when we get to February of next year, they will give some advanced information on what the focus of the content will be in some subjects. As soon as we get more information, that will be shared with the pupils and shared with yourself where necessary. Information around your child's Year 11 report, which you will be receiving at some point this week. The Year 11 report contains a lot of information and I thought it would be worth going through the various different pieces of information that are on there so that we're all clear on what they are relating to. So you will see columns in that say Year 11 target grade, they say current working grade, they'll say indicative end of Year 11 grade and one that says attitude to learning or ATL. I'm just going to go through each of those now and just explain each element for you. So the Year 11 target grade that is generated by a combination of the national expectation from key stage two, so from your child's year six performance, and some input from our teachers. It is designed to be aspirational, but it's not designed to be unrealistic. So we hope that those targets are realistic for your child. In terms of the current working grade, that is the grade that we would expect your child to be awarded if they sat their exams now. So if they sat their exams in, October of 2021, this is the grade that we'd expect them to be awarded at this time. This is not what we think they will achieve next summer. It's based on recent assessments that have been done in class and some teacher knowledge of the pupils. And you will notice it is a fine grade, so it has a letter at the end of the number. So for instance, 2B will be a grade two and it represents the middle range of the grade two. And you can see there what the fine grade descriptors refer to. The next column along says the indicative end of year 11 grade. This is an indication of what we feel your child may go on to achieve at the end of year 11. Please do recognise though that in the current climate it's very difficult for us to assess, certainly in terms of what I've already said about the grade awarding process and how they will be awarded in between the 2019 and 2021 results. It is difficult for us to assess that at the moment, but we did want to share with you as much information as possible. So that is why the indicative end of year 11 grade is on there. And the final column is the ATL grade, the attitude to learning grade. And we consider this to be the most important aspect of the report. It's the aspect which collectively we can influence the most with discussions and offering encouragement to the young people, to the pupils. And it's the focus of all our discussions. Throughout this week, myself and Mrs. Keane and the interim head teacher We'll be meeting all of the year 11 pupils individually to have a discussion about how their progress is going, how they are progressing throughout year 11 
and we will focus our discussions on these ATL grades. Is their attitude to learning as good as it can be? Parents' evening for Year 11 is scheduled this year for Thursday the 21st of October. It will take place between 4pm and 7pm and it will be delivered remotely using a piece of software called School Cloud. We've used it last year and it proved to be very effective. Booking details and protocols will be sent out next week. Again, the focus for discussion should be on the child's attitude to learning and what steps they need to take to improve. What are their next steps for improvement? More information will be shared with you next week about parents evening. Pre-public examinations are scheduled for November of 2021. You may remember these as mock examinations. They are scheduled to take place between Monday the 15th and Friday the 26th of November, and a timetable will be shared in advance. These examinations are an important part of the Year 11 journey. We talked to them in assemblies about being on a journey. These are a really important stage on that journey. It is really important that the pupils get to go through the process of an exam season, of going into the exam hall day after day, of feeling the butterflies in their stomach, of making sure they are prepared as, as well as they can be for the next examination. It's really important that they prepare as fully as they can for these examinations because they do matter, certainly in terms of us having to report grades, etc. And as it says there, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. And it's important that we know what we don't know. That might, might sound a little bit odd, but we need to know what are the areas that we need to work on to improve. It's important that we know as staff, that class teachers know, but also the pupils know, and also you as parents know, what are the next steps that your child needs to make to improve so that collectively we can work together to improve them between November and summer of next year. A really important two weeks for the year 11 pupils. Please put them on your calendar and make sure we are working towards those dates. In terms of the period four timetable, that is up and running. They are regular sessions after school where the teachers are giving up their time. It's been wonderful to see so many of the pupils engaging in these sessions. Last week, one day, we had over 100 of the year rather pupils attending. That is great to see. Please, can you encourage your child to make the most of these opportunities that they are receiving? There will be an updated timetable for after half term because the current timetable only runs up to half term. But please don't think it ends then. I will send you an updated timetable before half term that will kick in after half term. Please, just a reminder, you have received some support materials. These went out in with the pupils. They should have gone home with the pupils a couple of weeks ago. Two booklets, one that is aimed at the pupils, so it's talking, its title is Revision Cracked, and it gives some really good practical tips on how to revise. There's a, a, a timetable in there to plan revision and a schedule. Uh, and there's also a booklet for parents, which is aimed at, at yourselves, giving tips and ideas for how to support your child, because we recognise it's a, an important year and it can be a challenging year for parents in supporting their child throughout this process. That is the end of this broadcast. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for everything you are doing and thank you for your continued support. A message that we continually give to pupils that we've just got to keep going. It's a tough year, it's a rewarding year. We've got to keep going and work together to get through it. Thank you for your time. I'll see you soon.